Today, I want to talk about a new feature in Lightroom where you can take a relatively boring photo and turn it into a moody picture like this. Let's jump into it. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So after updating Lightroom the other day, I immediately noticed the split toning panel was gone and it was replaced with this color grading panel. I spent some time playing around with it on old photos and a couple new ones and I'm actually really enjoying it compared to the old split toning panel. It allows you to get way more in depth and make like really fine adjustments. It is an absolutely awesome way to set the mood for a photo and give it a really like cinematic dramatic look. Yeah sure you can adjust the white balance to like an extent but this is like ridiculously way more in depth than that. This is also an option you definitely want to be careful with as well. It's an option where where it's pretty easy to get carried away while you're editing and you can really take an image too far with it and make it look far worse than it was originally so definitely keep that in mind as well alrighty let's spin around here jump into the computer and I'll show you how I personally use these color wheels for my pictures alrighty guys here we are in Lightroom and uh, this is the finished image so I'm gonna go down here here's the uh, color grading panel and I'm gonna come up to here, just hover over adjust, and I'm gonna double click that. And as you can see, that reset all the color grading. So here it is with just the my regular adjustments. I'm not gonna reset everything. I'm just gonna go through this quick with you. Uh, I did a little bit of white balance. I always drop the highlights down, shadows up on my landscape pictures like this, especially ones like this where I'm shooting directly into the sun. Messed with the whites and blacks a little bit. Brought the vibrance up a little bit. Saturation I didn't do too much with. Uh, contrast, there was already plenty of contrast seeing as how I'm shooting right into the sun. And there's this really black tree and the shadow from it. So I didn't do a ton there either. Uh, and here's the hue, saturation, and luminance sliders. Uh, I usually get a little more in depth with this. I didn't this time. If you come up here, here's the settings I shot it at. ISO 100 at 24 millimeters, and I shot it at F22 to really get that sunburst. Coming down here to the color grading is really where I made this photo pop. So let's jump into this. All right, so here's the three wheels you'll be using. Um, you got the mid-tone wheel, the shadows, and the highlights. You can also come up here and you can do these separate too. So if you click shadows, here's your big shadow wheel. It just makes it bigger. Same with the mid-tones and the highlights. So what I do is I always leave it at the three. I don't know, I like to have the three right in front of me and work them as I need. So what I'll do is I'll always start off with the mid-tones. I kind of just do this in order. And what I do for my workflow is I'll take this and I'll bring it up to about the midway. See how I, I brought that slider up to the midway? Then I'll come over here, click this, and kind of just, I'll look at the image. Don't look at what you're doing over here, but look at the image and kind of just do a 360 with it slowly and just stop where you like the image. So I, I, I do like it into the green a little bit right there. But what I really liked is it over here into the orange. So I don't know exactly where I had it. Obviously I'm just going by this, but so I'll get it to about there and then what I'll do is click this middle thing and see how it formed a line then you can go back and forth to bring up or down the saturation and I do the same thing I look at the picture don't look at what you're doing with the slider just look at the picture and kind of just stop where you like it so somewhere in there okay and then you're gonna come down to the shadows and and I'll go back and forth with these. Once I adjust the shadows, I might come back up here and adjust this a little bit. It all just kind of flows together. You gotta just play with it. And same thing with the shadows. I'll come over here, bring it about halfway up, and 
do another 360. In shadows, I always usually like into the blue. Uh, you can bring it up into the yellow. That looks pretty good. But I always, I don't know, I, I, I like the dramatic look the blue gives. So I think I'll about do it right there. And you can really balance it out. I usually leave the blues up. Oops. I usually leave the blues up quite a bit. All right, and then to the highlights, where I believe I did this one into the orange as well. Obviously, the sun is a highlight, and I wanted to keep that orange. So, I really like that right there. And I'm just doing this really quickly. Usually, this, this takes me a stupid amount of time. I spend way too much time editing images. So, then blending. You can bling this bring this down if you think it's too much, or if it's not enough, you can bring it up. And as you can see, if you bring it up, it, it really kind of gives it a purple look. Blending, I don't think I'm going to do much with. I'm going to leave that there. And then also balancing it out. You can bring this all the way down and basically it resets and takes away everything. Or you bring it up and it, it goes too far. So these, as of right now, I'm just going to, for the sake of this image and video, I'm going to leave this where it's at. So then the final thing you can do here is your global adjustment. And I think this will kind of go through all three of them and kind of balance them out. So I'll do the same thing. Bring it halfway up, do your 360. And I think this one I'm gonna leave about into the orange like this. But I'll kind of want to balance it out because I want that, that blue up at the top of the image. I like that dramatic look, so I don't want this too much. And then another thing you do is this is down here, the sliders below, this is your luminance. So you can bring them down or up. Down is obviously more dramatic. So you play with those too. Like here's the shadows. I really li like that. That's way too far, you know. That's way too contrasty. So, But I do want it cinematic and dramatic looking. So maybe I'll bring it down just a little bit. And then the highlights I like to drop down a little bit. So as you can see here... Just a quick edit, hit Y on my keyboard and you can do it before and after. You can see, you can really make a pretty boring image that I, without using the color grading wheel, I probably would have either deleted or turned it black and white just to make it, you know, a decent looking image. But I really, I really like what you can do with this color grading wheel. If you like the way the image came out, I'd really appreciate it if you dropped up a thumbs up button on there and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Uh, I've got a bunch of videos in the works that I'm planning to do. I'm redoing my pickup truck camper bed, so I'm going to be doing that for solo trips for myself and my dog. So that's going to be an image coming up probably next week. Um, I got the new 14 to 24 millimeter f2.8 Nikon Z lens that I'm going to be doing a review on. I'm absolutely loving this lens. I'm shooting it on it right now. So lots of videos in the works. Definitely subscribe for more. Drop a thumbs up button as usual. Thanks for watching the video guys and I will catch you in the next video.